Every 13 years, a special type of cicada makes an appearance in southeastern the United States for only two weeks. News 12's Jacob Owenby has more details on what to expect from these rare cicadas. Every 13 years, the ginormous southern brood cicada comes up from the ground to mate from the end of April to the first couple weeks of May. And while they aren't here for a long time, they are here for a good time. The Great Southern Brood, our only 13-year cicada, is coming out this year. It's also known as Brood 19, and it is the largest brood of periodical cicadas in the world. Uh, in fact, the United States is the only place in the world where periodical cicadas are found. These cicadas will conquer 12 states and wooded areas for a couple weeks while making loud sounds and leaving a mess with their shells so they can spread their wings and fly away. The males are the only ones that make a sound and they sing to attract females. Once the female finds a male, they mate. Then the female goes to the very tip of the branch. She inserts the rear of her abdomen under the bark of the branch there, lays a few eggs, and soon thereafter, both the male and the female die. While they might be obnoxious, Dr. Hinkle ensures those that the humongous insects are not here to harm people or plants for their short lifespan. Periodical cicadas are perfectly harmless. They cannot bite, they cannot sting, they are not poisonous, they are harmless, they will not hurt plants, and they are not around for very long. They'll be coming out here at the end of April, and they'll all be dead by the end of May. While the southern states will experience the 13-year cicada, states like Illinois will also experience a 17-year cicada as well. So if you haven't gotten anything for Mother's Day, there's always the option to go witness the every 13-year cicada. Reporting from Chattanooga, I'm Jacob Owenby, News 12.